Hey everybody, Jace Allen here. Welcome back to the Guitar Dungeon. And on today's episode, I'm reviewing a Donner DST 400 electric guitar. So stick around. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Over the holidays, uh, during Black Friday sales, I sort of broke down and uh, bought a gu another guitar, as if I need another one. But anyway, I couldn't pass this deal up. It's for a Donner DST 400. And this is a solid alder body uh, with really nice hardware and everything on it. And the reviews that I've seen, uh, they look pretty good on it. And uh, I couldn't pass it up. It's uh, I think it's a, normally a $229 guitar. Uh, it was on sale, plus I got an extra $30 off because of a coupon code or something like that. So from Amazon, uh, it was uh, just over $150. Bucks. It was, uh, let's see, $151.36 uh, through Amazon. I think it was free shipping. Yeah, it was free shipping, too. And so uh, here it is. It was delivered uh, yesterday, I think, a couple days ago. Uh, no, yesterday. I got it yesterday. So uh, let's open it up and take take a look. It's the first time I've bought a guitar from Donner. I uh, bought one of their pedals. You can find a review on that in the description. And uh, what do we have here? A box within a box. That's always fun. And then another thing, thing I want to point out, if you buy one of these, uh, check, check it out. <laughs> it's real discreet packaging. Donner electric guitar this was leaned up against my garage when i got home last night uh luckily i live out in the middle of nowhere so uh, we don't really have a problem with porch pirates around here but if you happen to live in an area where that's a concern you might want to have somebody signed for it <laughs> okay Okay, so, in a nice gig bag, never have too many gig bags, I guess, got a side handle on it, which is nice, and then the backpack style straps, and a big pocket, it's pretty nice, it's not as chintzy as some of the cheap ones that you get with these cheaper type guitars, this one actually came with a decent cable, Donner makes their own music equipment, they're, uh, I'm pretty sure they're imported Chinese made stuff, but they've got their own brand of stuff. That's actually a pretty decent looking cable. A lot of the cables that you get with uh, the cheaper electric guitars are really cheap cables. Even came with a strap and a bunch of hardware. Oh, okay. That's uh. I'm dropping stuff all over the floor. This is an Allen wrench for adjusting the truss rod. And then we have a tremolo, tremolo bar. Oh, there's another Allen wrench. And then, like I said, this is pretty nice guitar strap. Just webbing, plain, you know. All right, let's get to this guitar. Let me try to back up a little bit here. Okay. Packaged in the package. Packaging, packaging, inside of more packaging. It's nice. 150 bucks. Now it makes you wonder. <laughs> I always say, how do they do it? I know labor is cheap over there, but uh, man, paper, brown paper over the strings, a little foam block over the uh, five way switch vintage style tuning keys which if you're gonna buy a guitar you might as well get one with the vintage style tuning keys i love them things i think they just look so cool so we got a green semi-transparent finish you can see a little bit of the grain in there i don't know if you can on on the camera but man not bad looking not bad looking Paint job is really nice. Skunk stripe on the neck. Probably a maple neck, I'm assuming. Ooh, rosewood. That looks like a rosewood fretboard. 
And it looks like it might actually be rosewood. A lot of the cheap knockoffs, I hate the style of their headstocks. Their headstocks look terrible. But this one actually doesn't look too bad. And it's even got a like a serial number. They're starting to serialize these. It's heavy. I mean, it's not like too heavy, but it feels good. And it's got a bunch of plastic on the on the pickups. This is a uh, humbucker humbucker single single. Let me just I'll post the post the stats in the description as usual. The only other thing that has plastic on it is that on the back, but oh, actually, I think the now the pick guard does too, but I won't mess with that at the moment. All right, so what I got here, I'm going into my DAW uh, Reaper, and I'm running a just a amp modeling amp type plug-in for some distortion. Oh, we got to tune it up, obviously. Tuners are nice. Wow. Neck feels good. <laughs> I always check the higher up the neck and do some bends to see if it uh Because sometimes they'll, when you bend, the neck isn't adjusted right of the frets. You get some high frets down there, and so when you bend, it just it, it'll, it'll mute, it'll dead, it'll go dead. And uh, so you want to check that. But these sound pretty good. <laughs> I'm out of tune already. The frets feel a little. They should be polished. They feel a little rough, like when you bend the string across them, you can feel that it's a little rough, but nothing that a little bit of steel wool won't fix. Sounds good. Looks blue on camera, doesn't it? Next to my shirt, definitely looks blue, but it's not. It's a green. It's like a forest green or a hunter green. It's got the little plate on the back that's got their logo on it. It's pretty nice. It's just etched. It's not stamped or anything. It's still cool. And then it's got the bent saddle. Bent saddles on it. Those are nice. And it comes with a, a tremolo. So it's got the... Well, it's a little bit newer style tremolo. It's got the two... Uh, the two bolts instead of the f five screws across there. And it's just a one way, it just bends down. I don't use a tremolo much. I think I should. through the switches here. Ooh. If I knew how to play, it would sound so much better. Man, that sounds good. Okay, this center. Strings are a little high, not terrible. 
<laughs> for 150 bucks. If you bought this for your kid that was just learning to play guitar, I mean, this thing. What can I say? It's it. This would last a lifetime. It's playable, very playable. Sounds great. It's got staggered poles on the pickups, so those are El Nico pickups. That's pretty cool. For one hundred and fifty dollars, I mean, come on, really? I don't know. I don't know what to say. Ooh. Oh, I think this thing has push pull. does it's got a coil tap <laughs> so you can run single coil on all wow 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 that's uh that's pretty amazing so it's the it's the this tone button here you raise it up and it splits the coil on the humbucker there's a chart i know let me find this chart Okay, so there it is. So that's push pull tone coil split off. It shows you. Oh, wow. Yeah. And when it's on in the up position, then it's single coil all the way across. Pretty neat. There we go. So there you have it, Donner DST 400, beautiful guitar. Uh, they were on sale; it was pretty cheap. I got it for 150 bucks. They're normally, uh, what are they? What are they going for now? If they're still on sale. I don't know. 289. Oh wow! So yeah, so it's a 289 dollar guitar that I managed to score for 151 dollars and 63 cents, and it's beautiful guitar so i would i would follow amazon check it out like get an alert or something get an alert or something and uh you know keep an eye out for when these things go on sale because this is a great guitar so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on the guitar dungeon